Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Echo, and the video you're about to see is an NBA 2K13 clip where I was playing a 2v2 with my uh, clanmate uh, Aaron, and it turns out he lags out of the game, and he was kind of carrying our team, and I was doing horrible with Kevin Durant, and it was the third, uh, it was the third quarter. We were kind of screwed, but it turns out Tabo Cephalosha decided to help me come back, and we beat them, and. I needed no support from Aaron whatsoever. So if you enjoy this clip and want more clips like this, please click the like button below. Quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Well, you look at Russell Westbrook in this game. He has been everywhere. Well, we know he can score. So it's not really a huge shock to see him put up these kind of big numbers. And I would think that he most likely will continue to carry on this kind of play into the fourth. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Thunder. And playing the Heat here for the second time. Well, and the big thing is they've got to avoid tonight what happened in the previous matchup. A lot of their starters were on the bench with foul trouble in that game. Well, you need good passing from your forwards as much as you do from your guards. These are small forwards leading the way in assists. LeBron James, number one. Kevin Durant is second. Kevin Durant, Serge Ibaka, and Kendra Perkins, their front court trio. The backcourt comprised of Russell Westbrook and Tabo Cephalosha. That's the group for Scott Brooks getting going here in the second half. Just to focus on what Steve was talking about for another moment, their foul trouble, Clark, probably had more to do with that loss than anything. Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, I thought they lost their heads a bit. They just basically lost control. Things started to get physical. They didn't really show any discipline. They started committing unnecessary and foolish fouls. It was just a real collapse in terms of mental fortitude. There. you got to keep your composure. Always. Shots good by a buckup. And Clark and Steve, as we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, exactly right, Kevin. I mean, these teams just simply keep trading baskets, and as a result, trading the lead. Yeah, neither side really able to create much of a cushion at all. So well, which team can make a little run here? We'll see. And good on the basket. Book it. Well, the last couple of seasons, Dwayne Wade has shot just around 50% among the best field goal percentages of his career. And obviously it helps playing with LeBron James. Gets a lot of transition baskets. Uh, really didn't have to take a lot of bailout shots to beat the clock because LeBron was there for some of that as well. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. And just going back to the great scoring for Wade just for a minute here, guys. Last season, he and LeBron both really cut down on their outside shooting. It was noticeable and made a huge difference in their percentages and in their effectiveness. They really were looking to attack the paint a lot more. LeBron drives in. Ibaka with some nice deep. He operates pretty well in traffic, guys, but that was a tough play to finish off. Got that one up quick. That's now eight points for Kevin Durant. And still perfect here in the second half. Four for four from the field. Wade kicks to Haslam. LeBron. LeBron with another miss. Well, you could see it happening. You knew the Thunder were poised for a deep playoff run last year after coming up short to the Mavericks in 2011. They made quick work of them in the first round last year. Finally a miss, but still four for five shooting to start this third quarter. Good defense, but you gotta love the finish with the finger roll over the top. Westbrook kicks to Perkins. And Westbrook gets it to go. Westbrook's got 23 points. Looking back on that series, Clark, it was a bit of a statement from the Thunder to go out and sweep the defending champions. They had a couple close games in there. But to, uh, to do it in Dallas, I thought, with a Game 4 series clinching win was pretty impressive. I know, mm -hmm. Steve, you thought so as well. Oh, no question. And then, of course, they followed that up by beating the Lakers and then San Antonio uh, before finally losing to Miami in the finals. So when you look at that, that murderer's row of opponents that they had to face in the playoffs. Uh, and to win three series, pretty remarkable. He's starting to heat up from outside. That's his second this half. The Heat trail by four. Here's LeBron. Rejected by Ibaka. Durant for three. Rebound by the Heat. Haslam's got his fifth rebound in this one. Bosch dishes to LeBron. Wade outside. 
Here's the three. And Chris Bosh with the slam. He spoke loud on making a statement that play. Yeah, that was brute force battling for the offensive board and taking it right back up there. Mm, that's just all about strength and energy, guys. He dishes it to Zephalosha. Durant, covered by LeBron. There's the triple. That doesn't go either for Durant. This just has not been his day so far. He kicks it to Wade. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. And there's the call on Udonis Hazel. That is his first foul of the game. 153 left in the third quarter. Westbrook kicks to Durant. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. And as always, the mid-part of the NBA season, quite a grueling part of the schedule. Right now, let's check out how the standings are shaping up in the East. Take a look at the Heat. And checking out Miami, tied right now. LeBron passes to Wade. And it's Wade again missing. The Thunder with the lead. It's Westbrook with the drive. With the lead pass. That's good. 15 points for Serge Ibaka. Well, you love the way he searched for good shots all game long. The thing that I like about Russell Westbrook is that he steadily improves each year. You know, he's so devastating as a penetrator and a finisher in transition. And his jump shot is getting better, too. He's not elite, uh, but it's gotten to the point where he can hit it consistently. And that's why he's such an amazing scorer. Kicks it out to LeBron from outside the arc and out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession now we've got a chance here guys to take a look at Serge Ibaka and see how he stacks up around the league numbers wise second in blocks and his field goal percentage has been off the charts he's in the top five in the NBA in terms of shooting accuracy and of the numbers you tossed out there Steve I think his blocks ranking may be the most impressive to me I mean that's some rugged defense this guy's been playing. And when you see Westbrook pull up into that jumper, he gets wide, wide open. Well, you know the reason why. Defenders have to play him for the drive, so they're two steps off of him usually. So anytime he drives or attempts to drive, he can pull up and get space for that jumper pretty much when he wants to. He's laboring out there right now, guys. The shot has not been falling for him this quarter. Here's Wade. Rejected by Westbrook. Durant for three. Can't get it to go. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a... And the Heat call time here. You know, the Heat knew it was all about the playoffs for them last year, Kevin. And ultimately, they would be judged on if they were able to win a title or not. That's... May be harsh, but that truly is the reality for that group. It is there, you're right. Ray Allen, he's checked in for Dwayne Wade. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolstra was saying to his team. He told them that they simply have to step up, saying if we don't make a move now, it's going to be too late. Give them everything you've got. Kevin so with Wade on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. Ray Allen and LeBron fill out the wings. Hansel and Bosch are up front. And it's Chalmers in at the point. Yeah, Clark, they cruised early, and once Derrick Rose got hurt and the Bulls were knocked out, they were the heavy favorites to reach the finals. Uh, but it was a struggle at times. You know, Indiana gave them a real good second round. Yeah, and then Boston took them to seven games in the Eastern Conference Finals, even had them down 3-2. But in the end, it was finally LeBron's turn, and he was amazing during the championship round against Oklahoma City. And uh, it, was, it was very impressive the way he responded to his critics and played about as well as you can possibly play in an NBA Finals. Congratulations to Miami and to LeBron. Allen for the three. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's now got four assists in the game. Durant for three. Again, Durant missing. The Heat trail by 12. Here's LeBron. And there's another one for the Heat. 
I think he's done his part to try to keep him in this game. It's been a solid effort from him, guys. For three, Durant. Durant with another miss. He'd have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Allen for three. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. Chalmers has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And Ibaka slams it in. Both of these teams have really stepped it up offensively. You know what, Steve? They haven't missed a chance, and I think both teams really know what's at stake on every possession here. Westbrook with it. Leads him in there. Cephalosha's shot is good. And it's an 11-point Thunder lead. You know, you look at how this has played out so far, and they've really had a big advantage inside. Well, they're getting higher percentage shots in the lane, and they're getting a bounce here or there, but I think they're playing pretty well down there. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. Serge Ibaka pulls it in. Ibaka's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Durant for three. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. 20 points for Kevin Durant. Wow, fantastic performance from the arc here in the second half. Allen for the three. That's good. Fellas, they are heating up from outside now. Yep, of their last five hoops, three of them have come from long range. For three, Durant. Miami grabs the miss. Chalmers has got his seventh rebound here tonight. LeBron wishes to Allen. From past the arc, Durant with some nice D. And they have a huge advantage on the board. Well, this has been one-sided so far, both on the rebounding side and the scoreboard. Cephalosha's shot is good. And what an incredible quarter he's having. He's unstoppable right now. A three from LeBron. Rebounded by Cephalosha. Looks like he's just trying to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but uh, I don't know about that shot. Durant, no good. Well, that's clearly a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look at. Well, true. The defenders shouldn't relax just because he missed that one. He's capable of getting hot in a hurry. Allen outside. Three-pointer. Good! Allen's got 23 points. Well, he can shoot the three. We know that. But I'm not sure that he does. I mean, they weren't anywhere near him on that possession. Durant just inside the line. That doesn't go either for Durant. And Chalmers kicks to Allen. Passes it to LeBron. He feeds it to Aslam. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Just cruising to the finish line. Yeah, and barring something catastrophic happening, um, it looks like they'll go home with a nice victory here. Chalmers passed to Allen. Jacks up a three. And that one's good. Allen's got 26 points. The guy's been an artist with that three-point shot. He sure has been, Steve. I mean, the majority of his points have come from out there. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. They're up by 10. 124 left here in the fourth quarter. Kevin Martin, he's checked in for the Thunder. And Miami also making a switch. Dwayne Wade's checked in for LeBron. Fires for three. There's the bucket. Good. Six points for Martin. Wade outside. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. Well, what you love about Kevin Martin is just the efficiency offensively. He, he makes a lot of three-pointers, and he gets to the line at will. He's quick, and he develops angles on his drives where he draws a lot of contact, forcing the officials to call fouls. The Thunder leading by 12. Here's Sheffield. Oh, look out! Oh, 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 oh. That roof down with that one. Yeah, and really a dunk contest dunk that time. Wow. Mm. Yeah, unreal. What a dunk. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Wade. 
And again, it's the Heat missing. Well, you know what? You really expect him to knock that jumper down when he gets a good look like that. Here's Westbrook. And it's Miami with the rebound. Yeah, it looks like this one's out of reach. Yep, just a matter of the clock running out now. Oh, tried to dunk it home, but drew the foul, and it'll go to the line. That free throw good from Wade. And he can't hit the second. But they recover it. Allen. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. Thunder shooting has been just great so far, up at 56%. Outside, Mark. A three. Good. And the Thunder lead by 16. I think we can chalk this one up. The goal now is just to run some time. Yeah, I think it's time to get the bus started now, boys. Full size.